right, guys. The transmission is finally going out on the Mamalona. It's looking bad for all the gears. Uh, second or third sliding. I'll uh, show you guys right now. As you guys can see, the transmission is finally slipping. Uh, uh, this truck did serve me good for like two years and I have drove this truck aggressively for those past two years So uh, it's, it was about time the transmission start slipping honestly The transmission I got in my truck right now is a 4060 like you guys know It's dog, don't, it's bad, this truck's The transmissions in these trucks are just terrible honestly You guys already know I've said this in prior videos a lot of times before But we're gonna go with a 4060 rebuild I'm gonna have the transmission the same one that's in my truck get rebuilt uh, We're gonna go, we're gonna try to beef up all the internals I don't really know too much about the internals for uh, 4060, but I want them to rebuild the transmission enough for us to be able to go to events and dog the truck and have no issues with it. If you guys know that, I mean, it's gonna be a lot of burnouts, a lot of racing, and I want the transmission to be able to hold up to that. So we're gonna go to the shop right now, guys, and uh, check it out and see what they can do for the transmission of the truck. And if we lock a deal, we leave the truck there today, and then you guys can see the final results. I just want you to go, come on. Performance torque converter. All right, it's all the windy out there. Now we got the trans cooler and the torque converter, and now my truck should be almost damn near ready to get back, put back together. I know it's a lot of drawbacks because of shipping and just having a lot of uh, back order for all these performance car parts. But now that I got this, I can just drop it off to my boy Hank on Monday. Hopefully, it's just gonna be put back together real soon, and we can go uh, test it out, baby. All right, guys. So it's a brand new day today. And um, so we gotta drop off these parts right here. Got the torque converter and the 40k transmission cooler. So we're about to go over there right now, drop it off with Hank, and then uh, we're gonna see a little update, see what the transmission's going on, see what's going on with it. All right, so I forgot to record in there. Oh, I didn't forget to record, but I just didn't want to go in there bugging all of everybody was working on all that for me. I don't want to be that type of person where just like blocking everybody's work off. But uh, everything's going good with the transmission. I just checked it out. It has everything outside. Everything's painted. Everything looking real nice. We got a shift kit going in. I think it's an HD2 shift kit. So I'm really excited about that. We got a stall converter in there going in, a performance one. So these burnouts should be looking, they better look good, man. I'm just saying, you know what I mean? We got a billet parts going in, like I said. We got a band going in, which is a wider band. It's actually made out of Kevlar. I'm not sure what the other one's made out of, but my stage three clutch on my Mustang is actually made out of Kevlar. And the way that that thing bites is crazy. Two or three more days, we're gonna pick it up and then we're gonna test it out and see what my truck does. It should be shifting really nice now and uh, we're getting closer and closer to getting this truck to the events and uh, going out there and having fun. But nonetheless, man, shout out to my boy Hank, man. You're doing a great job. I appreciate all the work you're doing for me, man, the time you're putting in to get my transmission done. I for sure owe this guy a big one. I don't know if I'm gonna get a tequila bottle or a Latina. I don't know, but man, shout out Hank, man. You're the guy. Okay, Grandpa, I see you. I see you. And a nice little Cherry C5 whipping it, you know, 22 spinners. No, I'm just <laughs> Compact, but it's just hella small. The car don't even fit. Hell yeah, yeah, brother. All right, guys, we're here at April Transmission. About to pick up the Mama Los Gus, my boy Hank. so much off that engine that that engine it needs like uh 
like the turbo or something. It drives nice. Okay. Before I know what you wanted to do. Yeah. But you okay, it's, it's it's a very nice clean look. You don't see no brackets, you know. Yeah, it looks good. I, like I didn't even notice it. I like them, that's how I like them to look, like they're floating. Yeah. Because like those the brackets that came with the kit, I don't like to see all that erector set looking. Mm -hmm. yeah. Everything's all good. All right. Of course, you come with you. The, the wires are hooked because I, I didn't want to try to figure out. For what, the battery? You no, mean for the lights? Yeah, for the lights. That's fine. I put that, see, I put that same shift kit in a, uh, what was that? Pontiac GTO? Right. Yeah. Go on, give us some, you can get on it, I'm here. It could take it. it, yeah. Yeah, and when you add on, when you add on, it will. Oh, God. See, so the transmission is on everything. Everything is It's nice. Just leave it like that and go. It'll hold any RPM. And you can downshift it into first any RPM. It won't, it won't, yeah. That's that's like, you know, when you're racing and stuff. Yeah. All right, so. You ain't even broke in yet. This is one of the, the better ones that I do. But um, when you start to uh, pop up your motor, the transmission's done already. And you got that new sun shell, you gotta worry about that break. Yeah, that old drum was really fucked up. Oh yeah, you got a wider band now, another drum. Everything feels like it broke up. Got me a real strong torque converter. And he's like, how come it doesn't burn rubber? He wants to burn rubber. There's an old Ford Bronco. Right. I said, well, you got the big tires, but that, that converter, you got to hop your motor up now. He's like, oh, shit. I can't wait to feel what a burnout's going to feel like on this. <laughs> <laughs> what I've done is, it's tied into your radiator stool and this. Because once it gets so hot, this is not going to be as effective as it being tied in with the radiator. Yeah. So this, keep it cool. But once it gets, it starts climbing, it'll just keep climbing. The radiator will, will stop it. It won't go no further. It's going higher than that. Right, right. Yeah, he called police like five times. He just hoped they come blow me away or something. He So did he everything was done with the truck and he, he told him to pick it up and he was like, I don't want to pay for it? I don't want to pay. He came down. He goes, I'm just going to take the truck. I said, over my dead body. Because you already did all the work to all it, the work, right? Yeah, yeah. He just wants, I said, you just hear it still, huh? Yeah, because one of the cops come in, like, oh, he's not going to pay for it. Take the truck off, and that's it. Yeah. Eventually, though, eventually he was begging to pay. I said, I'm going to start lean selling it now. It's in your possession now, huh? Yeah, so I'm going to lean sell it. Oh, damn, up, he was filming me with the, with the phone. And, oh, what you done? It was crazy. Two days ago. Like, that's come, probably why we came yeah, with the camera yeah, and he was all, what the fuck? business, man. We don't turn down business, man. <laughs> Everything's good though. Everything feels fucking amazing. Yeah, you're good, man. Alright, guys, so that's it. Got the Mamalona backup. We got the uh, 40k cooler. I was talking to my guy Hank. The truck feels good. It feels amazing. It does feel like it's a little bit slower, but that's just the fact that the stall's in it. But once I get the cam, or actually, we're not gonna talk about it. Once I get the goodies in it, make the truck a little faster, for sure, get up. But it feels reliable. That's the most part I care about. And after I do some burnouts, we're gonna, we gonna test the submission out for sure. But I'm gonna see you guys in a bit. Alright guys, so we just got back from picking up the truck and uh, we're going to top it off by installing this carbon fiber hydro dip manifold cover. I dipped it before the truck actually went down, but I was going to plan to install it, but I actually forgot. But now that we have the truck back, we're going to go install this. We're going to take up the, the 
the snap-on toolbox. All the snap-on tools. She's a little dusty, but you get the point. <laughs> All right, guys, well, it's super hot outside, so I wanted to come inside the house and uh, talk to you guys about the overview of the truck. The truck runs really good. Everything's 100% straight. I'm not going to dog the truck. I was planning to do their burnouts or donuts this video, but it's not going to happen to the fact that I want to baby the truck for the first 100 to 200 miles. After that, we're going to party and see how it goes. The shift kit is actually feels really aggressive, but the shift points feel like smooth. That makes any sense. It doesn't feel like the truck's like kicking you in the ass or any of that. We did put a different planetary gear inside of it, so I'm not sure if that's the reason that's holding the first gear longer but I kind of like the way it feels. The whole truck mission is rebuilt. We had a shift kit in it. We did a trans cooler, which soon to be, I'm gonna have a gauge for that so we can really monitor how cool the truck mission goes after that, especially after dogging it, whatever the hell. Overall, like I said, shout out to my guy, Hank, man. He killed the transmission. <laughs> What's wrong with you, dude? If you guys need any type of transmission work, make sure you go to Lathel Transmission. There's gonna be a guy named Hank. Let him know that Legacy Jr. sent you. Junior, Legacy Junior, just let him know I sent you and he's gonna take care of you guys. Real cool guy, real down to earth. He's gonna take care of you, 10 out of 10 guy. But that's gonna be the end of today's video, guys. If you guys like the video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe, share with your mama, your grandma, your sister, I don't care who, but it's Legacy Junior and I'm out. Peace.